All right, gather up your nunchucks, folks. This video is a sneak peek of our new SolidWorks 201 course for uh, SolidWorks white belt ninjas like yourself aimed at uh, gaining even uh, more lethality in your daily SolidWorks ninjutsu regimen, um, hopefully using real-world techniques. Now, whether you are an aspiring industrial designer, professional industrial designer like me, or just an above-average maker, this course is meant to empower people uh, of all kinds to use SolidWorks as a creative tool, uh, in this case for creating a uh, kind of modernist remote control design using surfacing techniques in SolidWorks. Okay, so enjoy the video and uh, head over to cadjunkie.com, of course, for full access to our entire video library uh, whenever you're done. We'll see you soon. While those crazy designer guys are over there working on uh, whatever the heck it is that designers do, uh, twiddling their thumbs and making decisions about stuff that doesn't matter, we folks over here in engineering have to work out how to actually make this thing work. And we can't just sit on our hands while the designers are making their arbitrary decisions, <laughs> right? And so what can we work on? Well, we know, no matter what the designers do, no matter if this is our envelope, we know this is our envelope, it's not really going to change much. We may change some basic dimensions of it. But overall, we know that this is the basic shape, and that's going to involve a top housing and a bottom housing. Right? We know that. So we might as well create those components. So let's do insert new part. And uh, I'm just going to click on, let's say, my front plane to get that started. And I'm just going to actually exit the default sketch that it creates for me and rename this part. Let's call this our top housing. And I'm going to save that in an external part file. Hit OK. And this will be our top housing. And I'm actually going to open that up in a new window, insert, part, and then I'm going to grab that ID master model and bring that in. Just like we did in industrial design, except we're going to do it uh, in our engineering model here. Let's exit that. And now we have uh, this thing centered, and we have the, the surfaces that we need. And actually, this is our top housing, so we don't really need the bottom half of this. Um, before we go any further, though, let's file and save as. And we're going to save a copy. And we're going to save this as the bottom housing. And once again, we're saving a copy. We're not saving over our old one. So we'll save that. Now, we are currently in the top housing solid part, right? So we can actually hide. In fact, let's just go to the bodies here, grab that bottom body, and hit the delete key on the keyboard. Not the backspace key, but the delete key in the middle of the keyboard. That's going to fire off a uh, command called delete body. And when I hit OK, it's going to delete that body out of our model. So we're left with just this top housing piece, which is just what we want. Now we can close that up go back to our main assembly, and we can hide our master model. Don't have to look at that for the moment. Now let's exit that part. We're currently editing the part. I'm going to go back to our folder, drag in our bottom housing, and just drop that in. And let's actually, first of all, let's open that up in a new window. And we're going to do the same thing we did for the other one, except we're going to delete the top half. So I'll select that top body, delete on the keyboard for delete body. Hit the check mark. And now we have the bottom housing here. Close that up. Go back to our assembly. And it's in the wrong place, right? So let's actually position these guys so that they stay where they need to be. We'll grab our uh, paper clip, and we're going to mate the origin of our top housing with the origin of our assembly, and the origin of our bottom housing with the origin of our assembly. So those guys will be lined up. And now, at least we have two parts, exter external parts, ready to use so we can start building into them. And we might as well start a little bit, right? Let's hide this bottom housing for a second. And we'll take our top housing, and I'm going to make that transparent so we can see through it. And you'll see that we actually, we definitely need to be able to shoot screws up into this top housing. And for that, we're going to need screw bosses. So let's do that in another video.